Should flat-faced dogs be banned? Flat-faced dogs, often referred to as brachycephalic breeds, have gained immense popularity as pets in recent years. These breeds, characterized by their flattened faces, include the French Bulldog, Pug, English Bulldog, and others. While they may be undeniably adorable, their distinctive appearance comes with a set of health issues that have raised concerns among veterinarians, animal welfare organizations, and the general public. This video explores the debate surrounding the banning of flat-faced dogs, delving into the ethical, health, and legal aspects of the issue. I. Understanding Flat-Faced Dogs To fully comprehend the arguments for and against banning flat-faced dogs, it's crucial to first understand what makes these breeds unique. Brachycephalic dogs have been selectively bred to possess certain physical traits, such as a short skull, flat face, and compressed airways. These features result in the distinctive appearance that many find endearing. However, these very characteristics also contribute to numerous health problems that can severely impact the well-being of these dogs. A. The Appeal of Flat-Faced Dogs Flat-faced dogs have become increasingly popular due to their charming personalities and lovable appearance. Their distinctive flat faces, large expressive eyes, and snub noses often tug at the heartstrings of prospective dog owners. Additionally, their smaller size and relatively low exercise requirements make them suitable companions for individuals living in urban environments or those with less active lifestyles. B. Health Issues in Flat-Faced Dogs while their appearance may be endearing, flat-faced dogs suffer from a range of health issues related to their breed's anatomy. These problems include Brachycephalic Obstructive Airway Syndrome BOAS. The most prevalent issue among flat-faced dogs is BOAS, which is characterized by narrowed airways. This leads to breathing difficulties, snoring, and reduced tolerance for exercise. Heat Intolerance the flattened faces of these dogs make it challenging for them to regulate their body temperature, rendering them highly susceptible to heat stroke. Dental Problems The shortened snouts in brachycephalic breeds often result in crowded teeth and dental issues. Eye Problems Their prominent eyes are susceptible to various problems, including corneal ulcers and proptosis. Skin Folds and Infections the excess skin folds in these breeds can lead to skin infections and irritations. 2. Ethical Considerations The debate over banning flat-faced dogs primarily centers on ethical concerns, particularly regarding the breeding and ownership of these breeds. Several ethical arguments both in favor of and against banning flat-faced dogs exist. A. Arguments in favor of banning Prevention of suffering Advocates for banning flat-faced dogs argue that it is ethically unacceptable to intentionally breed dogs with known health issues. By banning these breeds, it is possible to prevent the suffering of countless animals. Breeding Ethics Critics of flat-faced dogs contend that breeding practices should prioritize the welfare of the animals rather than aesthetics. They argue that the deliberate breeding of dogs with inherent health problems is unethical. Human Responsibility some argue that society has a responsibility to protect animals from harm, even if it means restricting the choices of individual dog owners. Banning flat-faced dogs is seen as a way to fulfill this responsibility. B. Arguments against banning. Freedom of choice. Opponents of banning flat-faced dogs emphasize the importance of individual freedom and choice in selecting a pet. They argue that individuals should be allowed to choose the type of dog that suits their lifestyle and preferences. Responsible Ownership Proponents of these breeds contend that responsible ownership and breeding practices can mitigate health issues. They argue that banning these dogs is unnecessary if breeders and owners adhere to responsible breeding and care guidelines. Slippery Slope some individuals fear that banning specific breeds sets a precedent that could lead to further restrictions on pet ownership, infringing on personal freedoms. 3. Health and Welfare of Flat-Faced Dogs The health and welfare of flat-faced dogs are central to the debate over banning these breeds. A comprehensive examination of the physical and psychological well-being of these dogs is essential to understanding the issue. A. Health Challenges breathing difficulties. 
The compromised airways in flat-faced dogs can lead to severe respiratory distress, especially during exercise or in hot weather. Lifelong medical care. Many flat-faced dogs require ongoing medical care and interventions, such as surgery to correct airway problems. These treatments can be costly and emotionally taxing for both dogs and their owners. Reduced lifespan. Brachycephalic dogs typically have shorter lifespans compared to non-brachycephalic breeds, which is often attributed to their health problems. B. Psychological welfare. Stress and anxiety. The physical limitations and discomfort experienced by flat-faced dogs can lead to chronic stress and anxiety, affecting their overall well-being. Limited activity. These breeds often have reduced tolerance for physical activity due to their breathing difficulties, which can hinder their ability to engage in normal dog behaviors. Decreased quality of life. The combination of physical and psychological challenges can result in a diminished quality of life for these dogs. IV. Legal implications. The debate over banning flat-faced dogs also raises legal questions. Some countries and regions have implemented regulations aimed at addressing the breeding and ownership of brachycephalic breeds. A. Breed-specific legislation. Bans on breeding. Some regions have banned the breeding of flat-faced dogs to prevent the perpetuation of health problems in these breeds. Ownership restrictions. In certain areas, owning a flat-faced dog may come with restrictions, such as mandatory health checks and limits on breeding. Import and sale bans. Some countries have imposed bans on the import and sale of certain brachycephalic breeds. B. Challenges of enforcement. Breed identification. Determining the breed of a dog accurately can be challenging, leading to potential difficulties in enforcing breed-specific legislation. Black market. Bans on breeding and ownership can drive the market underground, making it harder to monitor and regulate versus potential solutions and alternatives. While banning flat-faced dogs may seem like a straightforward solution to their health problems, it is essential to consider alternative approaches that address the issue without restricting individual freedoms. A. Responsible breeding practices. Health screening. Breeders can prioritize the health of their dogs by conducting thorough health screenings and only breeding dogs with favorable health outcomes. Breeding guidelines. Implementing breeding guidelines that discourage the selection for extreme physical traits can help improve the health of flat-faced dogs. B. Public education. Raising awareness. Public campaigns can educate potential dog owners about the unique health challenges faced by flat-faced breeds, encouraging informed decision-making. Adoption and rescue. Promoting the adoption of flat-faced dogs from shelters and rescue organizations can provide these animals with loving homes while reducing demand for bred puppies. C. Veterinary Intervention. Medical Care. Veterinary care should focus on addressing the specific health needs of flat-faced dogs, including surgical interventions to alleviate breathing problems. Research and Innovation. Continued research into the genetics and health issues of brachycephalic breeds can lead to innovative medical solutions. V. Conclusion. The debate over whether flat-faced dogs should be banned is a complex and multifaceted issue. It revolves around ethical considerations, the health and welfare of these dogs, and the legal implications of regulating their breeding and ownership. While the appeal of flat-faced dogs is undeniable, the health challenges they face cannot be ignored. Addressing this issue requires a balanced approach that considers the welfare of both the dogs and their owners, while respecting individual freedoms. Ultimately, banning flat-faced dogs may not be the most effective solution to the problems associated with these breeds. Instead, a combination of responsible breeding practices, public education, and veterinary intervention can work together to improve the health and well-being of flat-faced dogs. One crucial aspect of addressing this issue is changing the breeding practices of these dogs. Breeders should prioritize the health of their animals over extreme physical traits. This means conducting rigorous health screenings, avoiding breeding dogs with severe health issues, and gradually reducing the extreme characteristics that have become synonymous with these breeds. 
Breeding guidelines that discourage the selection for extreme physical traits can also play a significant role in promoting the health of flat-faced dogs. Public education is another essential component of addressing the issue. Many potential dog owners may not be aware of the specific health challenges faced by flat-faced breeds. Raising awareness through public campaigns can ensure that people make informed decisions when choosing a pet. Emphasizing the adoption of flat-faced dogs from shelters and rescue organizations can also be part of these educational efforts, as it not only provides homes for these animals but also reduces the demand for bred puppies. Veterinary care is crucial in improving the quality of life for existing flat-faced dogs. Veterinarians should focus on addressing the specific health needs of these breeds, including surgical interventions to alleviate breathing problems. Research into the genetics and health issues of brachycephalic breeds can lead to innovative medical solutions, potentially improving the prognosis for these dogs. While addressing the health issues of flat-faced dogs is of paramount importance, it is also essential to consider the legal implications of breed-specific legislation. Breed bans can be challenging to enforce and may not effectively address the root causes of the problem. Instead, regulations that promote responsible ownership and breeding practices may be a more practical approach. In conclusion, the debate over whether flat-faced dogs should be banned is a nuanced issue that involves ethical, health, and legal considerations. While these breeds undeniably possess unique charm, their health problems cannot be overlooked. Banning them outright may not be the most effective solution. Rather, a comprehensive approach that includes responsible breeding practices, public education, and veterinary intervention can help improve the welfare of flat-faced dogs while respecting individual freedoms. Ultimately, the well-being of these animals should be the primary concern, and any solution should prioritize their health and quality of life. If you liked this video please click the subscribe button and share.